We would be honored if you would join us. You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. Welcome, my friends, to the Moss Isley Cantina, as it stands. Yeah, a couple of weeks behind, I wanted to get this video out a little bit ago. But alas, you know, time always seems to creep away <laughs> very, very quickly. Yeah, I was, uh, yeah, during the whole process of the HasLab, back the cantina, back the bar campaign... Life was very much distracting, so I really wasn't able to get my thoughts and uh, I would have loved to have spent a little bit of time, you know, doing some videos and talking about that as the campaign went underway. But um, yeah, unfortunately, life just took precedence at that point. And uh, yeah, I had to just kind of sit back and observe and, and enjoy So yeah, I wanted to I wanted to talk about it because I have indeed backed it. I went for the deluxe because why wouldn't you? <laughs> and yeah, given that I've spent a little bit of time sort of rearranging rearranging my shelves for a recent recent video I did, I do need to fix up some of the uh, hanging the lights there that are come unstuck like this one here. You need to just a few little spots of super glue just to get them back up there. Get them, get them fixed again. But yeah, I've uh, you know a new hope has kind of split down here with the cantina and then sort of the rest of it um, as we await. <laughs> you know, at this stage, it's another twelve months until the cantina is released. We've got the ghost coming, um, and uh, yeah, with the new Princess Leia figure, you know, some quite nice updated modern versions of the Darth Vader there from the vintage collection I've got him with Rogue One because so I really like this side of 5 POA Vader with Kenobi there together at least until we get new TVC version of Obi-Wan which is coming, it is pipelined as well as Han and Luke you can see there Still the VOTC, still the best one to date. And it's the VC Luke Skywalker, which is a retool of of that one there. But uh, yeah, I'd love to uh, I'd love to be able to space out a new hope just a little bit more, just a little bit more. But um, yeah, I uh, was very excited that uh, we're getting a new Greedo. You know, that's the uh, the VOTC Greedo there with the uh, Power of the Force vest. I wasn't a big fan of that fabric one um, that came with that one, which was later released in Saga Legends, which is the way I got it. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to seeing a new updated Greedo. And uh, yeah, being able to find a spot at the bar for the Tonica Sisters is going to be really, really cool. Um, I was excited that they were part of the uh, part of the campaign. I think that was probably going to be the only place for the Tonica Sisters to get a release was part of the Cantina. Um, I just don't think they would have done that well at retail, let alone online retail at all. I just, yeah, they wouldn't have. Diehards would have grabbed, would have snatched them up, but yeah, in terms of just general retail, they would not have. They would not not have done well. Um, so to see them, you know, included as part of the uh, the HasLab campaign, I think, was a really good move. Um, really smart, really good way to get those two characters out into people's collections. And uh, yeah, we can all shut up about them now. <laughs> of course, you know, a nice update to Wuha, which would be good. This one's this one's done the job. This old, old fella here, he's done the job. Uh, they did another version that was slightly more sort of weathered and he looked a bit greasy. He looked like he'd been working under a car or a land speeder. So once the new one comes in, you know, this one will get uh, delegated up to my uh, 
relegated up to my power of the force display which has uh, got a little bit more room now as well which is nice um, yeah with a new Ben Kenobi so I've got the uh, legacy collection Obi-Wan there which, you know he's all right he still works well as a figure um so he sort of just sort of sits in there and that luke yeah if we get a couple if we get the new the new new hope luke i'll definitely be getting a couple um you know one for sort of the main display to replace that one over there maybe a custom to put the stormtrooper belt and update that one maybe maybe we'll see and then obviously one for the cantina. And the same with the Han Solos, I think. I'll be getting multiples of the Han Solo because I just, you know, I want a nice standard one. There's anything wrong with this guy. But I'm going to want to have one in the cantina as well because I've got this old older one. Again, for the purposes of, of this display, where he's just sort of sitting at the cantina, sitting at the bar there, facing off against Greedo, it works. It's it's not too bad as well. This one's a little bit of a kit bash because I never got the uh, Yavin Ceremony Han Solo from the Vintage Collection. Um, so this is a bit of a kit bash from... It's, uh, it was the Legacy Collection um, Han Solo that came with the Falcon... I gave him the arms of the old VOTC uh, Endor Han. Just sort of see him, see him there. So I've given him the arms from that Han, and the head comes from the fresh out of carbonite Han Solo. I can't remember what year that one came out. But for the purposes of my uh, little new hope display here with the medal ceremony, that one works. Just because he's got the sleeves rolled down in that scene. That's why I needed those arms. And it was kind of the only figure where this shirt sort of matched. This shirt is a little bit yellower, a little bit dirty, and you got a little sweat stains. But yeah, I thought I'd take a look. Some of the aliens, I know Wiresley there. He's not technically part of the cantina. I've actually just bought myself a land speeder <laughs> so finally I was talking about it and so that will probably find a home up there with the dewback possibly um, yeah we'll definitely get a bit of a reshuffle but wisely we'll go up there with that but uh, yeah this cantina has served me well this is the second version I've had like when I had to pack up my collection a couple of years ago I just I binned it and bought a new one it was too hard to transport but um you know, I thought we'd go through the aliens. We've got Ketwal, which is a special edition. We've got Hem Dazon right here. Yeah, Conan. We have here Hammerhead, who's about to get an upgrade too for VC, which is really nice. Uh, we have a little dice Ibergun there. We have Mium Miumonith. And I'm going to forget some of these guys' names. <laughs> it's a given. Um, oh, Hornhead there. He is a vintage collection figure. I'm blanking on his name. Elor's Madak. This is the uh, sort of almost classic UFO look. But obviously, you know, in the same species as Cad Bane. Man, that guy. You know, as soon as I finish recording, I'll remember all these names. But he's sort of sitting at the back there. The goat hall, we have Feltapern Travag. Labria. And that's the Power of the Force version. There is a more recent version where he had a little bit more blue cape. Um, but yeah, it was, it was essentially just a repaint of this one. So it wasn't too much... But that one's definitely due for an update. Then we have Tequil, one of the uh, Snaggletooths. We have Keedkak, the Grasshopper. This from the Saga collection. 
with a little Boshek, the uh, pilot that, uh, whether he refused the job or he was just a contact to send them on to Han and Chewie. And we have this chick, I'm blanking on her name too. Again, I'll remember this later. Neighbor and Leeds, yeah, very important upgrade that we're getting with the bar, with the, the barge, with the bar. <laughs> there was another version of that released at some point um, in a sort of silver bodysuit. So yeah, Neighbor and Leeds, that'll be a nice, nice upgrade. Here we've got Herchek Kalfas. He's not a Trandoshan. And there is another one of these aliens in the bar. So hopefully, wait, maybe we can get that one at some point. But I remember scoring this one for an absolute steal of like 16 bucks. And we've got Cabe. Comes with enough tack. I'd like to see an update of that. And this side, we've got. Danik Jericho kept his little, you know, see him with his little little snot catches there, but uh, you know that was part of the figure. It looks weird without him too because he's got these holes in his cheek, um, and he's already got like a little bit of a hole in his mouth on the side there. That's for his pipe. But we've got Ponda Barber and Doctor Everzan. You know, if you if you're lucky enough to snag those back in the day. Very much worthy additions. Ponda Barber did get a re-release in the Black Series, uh, three and three quarter line. But yeah, Dr. Everzan would be a nice one to put back out again, maybe in a three pack. You know, when closer to when the uh, the bar's going to be released. He's a he's a good good figure. Good chance for some other people to get a hold of him. And then we've got Chewbacca. In the back we've got. Uh, Formerly known as Brainiac, I can't think of his name off the top of my head again. Now we got Mayo, Mio, Mayo, one-eyed guy. We saw his species return in the Mandalorian season, or at the start of season three or two. I can't remember now. We have got Jaspor, Jaspor. He's just sort of hanging out in the shadows. We've got the uh, the vintage collection modal nodes. My guy's fallen over. It's be nice to have their own little little alcove with the new big cantina. Oh, Muftak, who takes up a lot of real estate, <laughs> but he still he still holds up. You know, he's an old power of the force figure, limited articulation, but the sculpt's still good. And here we've got a uh, snaggletooth. He's had a few. <laughs> he's he's been eliminated from the movies, but uh, lacks Sivrak. He's not canonically in A New Hope anymore, but he is canonically forever in my heart. Did a little bit of a spotlight on him. Uh, Power of the Force Friday from oh, probably a few months ago now. We got him with his oversized gun, but we're going to see one of these. Shistavanine, I think the name of the alien is. The name of the species, Shistavanine. We're going to see one of those come into the skeleton crew. And here at the front, we have Ellis Helrot. He's, you know, pretty much Star Wars' very own scream guy, <laughs> which is cool. So, yeah, I don't know. I think ideally some of these could get re-releases, like I spoke about Dr. Everzan, Ponda Barber, you know, if they're going to get into some of those VC4 packs, you could fit those two in very nicely, and then, you know, maybe a couple of updates, like an updated Labria, the Devil Man, and, you know, maybe... Maybe another new figure, another new character, and one of this one of the sort of space pilots that's just sort of sitting there in the uh, in the cantina during a new hope. And here the other Snaggletooth down the front there. I think I missed him. So yeah, this is a 
served served me well this cantina for a long time. And the only figure I'm really missing from the bar scene is is the it's technically not even part of it, but uh, the blue Snaggletooth. It was one that was released in the Saga Collection in 0203. Sort of more in low line with this guy. In terms of sort of articulation, sort of sculpt style of the era. It was one of those figures that came with the bar. So yeah, I thought I'd just share some thoughts about, about the cantina and how you can populate it. Who you need to find to populate it. But yeah, bear in mind that, you know, with a new Luke Skywalker, a new Han Solo, a new Ben Kenobi, all on the way, new Hammerhead, new Greedo coming, new Neighboring Leads, you're going to get a pretty good posse of figures before the bar even lands, and including when the bar lands. So you're going to have a pretty solid, solid range of characters. As well as you can get a hand on there, Hasbro Pulse, modal notes. You'll be in a happy country. You can even get a couple of sand troopers sort of barging in through the doorway when that comes. So yeah, I think I think when it comes, I don't know if it's going to fit on this shelf. <laughs> it's yet to be seen. It may have to go on one of these shelves. They're a little bit deeper, so there may be a little bit of reconfiguration going. I might have to go New Hope here and there and then shuffle Shuffle, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi along these sort of two shells, which aren't as deep as those ones. So that may be something I actually do sooner rather than later. But yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Are you excited about the Cantina? Have you backed it? What version? Let me know what you think. And if I have missed any aliens, I'm pretty sure I haven't. If I have, please let me know. <laughs> I'll get straight on the eBay and fix that problem. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I've got it mostly covered. So thank you for watching, folks. Like I said, I do appreciate your time. Very exciting times. But yeah, we'll chat soon. Until then, may the force be with you always.